This is a progress update, the Recovery Act at work at the Savannah River site. Recovery Act and trade union workers employed by contractors are busy filling the disassembly basins of P and R reactors with a cement-like substance called grout. With as much as 22 feet of grout poured this far, the material permanently removes these basins as an environmental threat before the massive old reactors are filled to the top with grout above ground to end the Cold War legacy and reduce the site's environmental footprint. According to the project's manager, progress is being made. We're beginning to see the light at the end of the tunnel for the reactors. I mean, we, 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 we know where the endpoints are and uh, we're pursuing them aggressively. Kenny says the main focus is on worker safety and with a bit of irony thrown in, tied to the site's safety program's mascot. Well, that's Crocs. Uh, it's kind of ironic. Uh, uh, the last uh, day out here working in our area, it's kind of a remote area. Our area was shut down for a while. And uh, we've actually had the, have the animal control folks come out and remove two three-foot alligators uh, in about uh, the last couple of weeks. For more information on the Recovery Act at the Savannah River site, visit www.srs.gov forward slash recovery.